Hello everyone. So in this video, let us look into how to create a simple app-driven integration and we'll be activating the integration. We'll be triggering that integration using Postman. And we'll be using the same integration in the next video to explain for each. Okay. So let me create a simple integration. So for that, we need to click on create and select app driven orchestration and give any name ASP app driven uh, app test integration. So here we need to select the connection. And we need to provide the connection name. Uh, And the API, the you know <clears throat> URI we need to provide. So let me give for the slash. This is mandatory, and then employee. Okay. Let us make it as post. So let us make it post. Click on this add. Sorry, configure request payload and configure response message and then click on next. Select JSON sample because I have the JSON example data. I'll give this one. See here implies data we are sending. I mean, this is a just, just a schema, just for the schema, how it accepts the data. So name and then email and age, only three fields that we are sending. Okay, click on okay. And then click on next to configure response. Here also select JSON. So I don't have a sample payload, but it's just very quick. So let me status I want to send back. Sample status is success and also message. Employee. Created successfully. Next. And then done. So we are done with the conferring trigger. So now see here you 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 can see i mean as soon as we create integration you will just see this one because we need to set a tracker variable for that we need to click on actions and tracking so why this is important because let's say once the integration is triggered to verify whether this is related to what let's say one employee got processed and you want to see is this related to some 101 employee or 102 employee i mean some identifier is needed for the you know, best analysis so for that one minimum one field is required here so from our payload let me take employee name and then save and save the integration. 
So for now, I'm just mapping, you know, custom values. And next video, we can look into mappings and also we'll be working on our for each loops and all. So we can use this video, I'm sorry, we can use this integration in future. So I'm just clicking on the status and then create target node and then give any sample response, let's say success. And here also. Employee created successfully. I'm just sending these custom messages for now. Validate it. You know, I will also explain you what is mapper and you know what all these options in upcoming videos. You know, there is a reason for these all tabs. So we'll be discussing all of them. And close it. And save. Now close this integration. So where is our integration app? Yep, this is the one. So let us activate this integration. So integration is activated. Now, how to trigger it? So when you click on this, you can see this metadata link. And if you want to test the integration, you can click on test. See here, post. And you need to provide a body, sample body. It is copied from the schema that we have provided. And then click on test. And you can see the response, success, employee created successfully. So as I said, let us test this integration from Postman. So let me copy the URL. So to copy the URL, we need to click on this show endpoint data, um, sorry, metadata. It will give us a complete endpoint URL. And then we need to copy that and we need to paste here. And then and then we need to provide authentication details. Select basic authentication, whatever the you know, supported one is. For, for now, for our integration, it is basic authentication and we need to provide credentials. And then our integration request is post. So we need to select post here and we need to provide the body. As it is JSON, we need to select JSON here. And then let us take the sample. We don't need to send all of this just edit and then send for now let me send only one employee like like gmail.com 32 then send it You got the response and the status is 200k and success employee created successfully. Okay, so let us review this in OIC. So go back. We need to go to monitoring, integrations and tracking. So when you click on tracking, you can see here 
So this is the one we have directly tested in OIC itself. This is the one we have sent it from the postman. Okay. So we have sent Mike the name and we have given name as a tracking variable. So you can see here. And when you want to see payload, what we have received and all, you need to click on this activity stream and you can see the details. See here what we have sent. We have sent Mike an email and age is 32 and post. Okay. And then, you know, mapping details and what it just want back. He sent back success response. See, success and employee created successfully. And also, if you click on this, name and mic means you know tracking variable you can see this is in green this is very simple integration so you are seeing only this when you have a lengthy integration with the switch conditions and all you can see in which in which way it executed means you know all you know the process execution path you can see in a green and other season uh, normal color means gray color. If you see any errors, I mean if any error occurred in the integration, you can see that in red color. So this also helps in monitoring. So thank you, friends. So in the next video, we can you know, in the, in the same integration, we can implement switch conditions and for each, you know, what all actions that we can perform in OIC, like stage activity. I mean, you know, we can run time. I mean, we can save the data temporarily in OIC for, you know, data enrichments and all. I and mean, we can also do some analysis on the data. We no need to save that into some, you know, database or some other SFTP service. We can simply save in OIC itself and we can do analysis. So now I will I will I will be showing all these actions in next videos. So please subscribe and we'll we'll meet in the next video with Farich. Thank you all. Bye bye.